Scale Electric Mustang GT4. This, I believe, is the third release. I've been wrong with this pretty frequently, so <laughs> feel free to correct me, I guess. Um, cool thing about uh, recent Scale Electric releases is that they have had the uh, logo of the company, or the model, I should say, um, as the, uh, the, the uh, hole, the uh, cooling hole in the bottom of the chassis. Pretty cool. So this is GT4. As I mentioned, uh, most of their GT cars are inline. This is no exception. DPR door, as you see there. Uh, three body screws. Guide is fairly far forward. Um, the body shape is really nice. I remember seeing this car, the uh, prototype for this car, uh, more than uh, two years ago now, I guess, when I worked for Skill Electric. Um, I like the shape. My only concern is that there's very little uh, detail here in the nose that isn't molded into the nose. What do I mean by that? So um, it's a one-piece nose. There is there is nice detail, but there's no like holes in the nose. There's no photo etch. Um, so it looks, I don't know, that there's something about it that I just feel could have been, I think with some openings in the nose, and some photo etch or a separate part, it would have had a little more depth to the nose. And I think that would have helped it. Um, it to my eye, the car does look uh, scale. It does look right. It does have the shapes that it should. Maybe there should have been a little more dramatic uh, cut or swoop to the back end here. I don't know. Uh, the one quibble I do have with it is it's a bit high. Um, this would be the height of like a road, core, a road car this would not be, I know it's a GT4, so technically it's like a showroom stock kind of a car, but um, I really would have liked to have seen this just a little lower. It just feels awfully high when you see it sitting on the track, and I think that aggressive look could have uh, helped it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's open up the car. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, we do see more painting in the nose to help light bleed. Uh, and there is a bit in the rear as well, it looks like. I'm a big fan of that. I think that's fantastic. Um, something that I'm not a fan of, and I've mentioned this before, is these posts. This post right, these two little posts right here are meant to push down on the motor. These two posts right here are meant to keep the, uh, keep the rear axle from popping out, or to, to if it does, to kind of keep it in place. This kind of popping, I, this kind of these kind of posts, I think, are a terrible idea, because it does uh, transmit noise. This car is not terribly noisy, but still, uh, one thing that Skelectric have been doing is this interior just snaps in. Uh, I love that. This is something that Slotted have been doing with most of their new cars, I believe, as well. Um, they need credit for this. This idea of being able to snap these trays in. I think saves them uh, time and uh, production costs because you don't have to weld the thing, the uh, interior in. But if you want to, you can just pop this out without any damage. It takes, you know, literally more time to say pop it out than it actually does to do it. Uh, this is a great thing. It's a half tray interior, as you can all see. Um, other than that, I mean, there's not too much to say about the interior of the car. Like I said, though, it is painted inside to help light bleed. Fantastic, Skelectric. This is wonderful. Yes, 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 yes. Great job, great job. Again, I would have really liked to have seen some detail here in the nose that was uh, a screen, uh, a separate piece, rather than just a whole uh, solid nose, but whatever. I mean, what are you going to do? Um, I, I do have a real problem here, though. This, this is, this is terrible. Uh, this is the light bar for the car, right? These are the real, real lights. This wire essentially can go nowhere. And they knew this because they made a notch in the mold. I don't know if you can see it here. Yep, right there. They knew that this, that this board was essentially making contact with the rear body post, this this is not good. Um, this means that either you kind of shove it to one side or the other, which is probably what you sh they should have done when they installed it. But this still, this 
body post is basically right against this light board. That that's that's not great. Um, what else can we see? Uh, this is kind of nice. I do like this. Wires have a, a little place to be tucked down into uh, to keep them in place. That's fantastic. Uh, I've never seen Skelector do this before. I'm sure, I, I, who knows, maybe I've missed it in the past, but this is a great idea to keep the wires in place. Wire management is a big deal for, for your computer as well as for your slot car. Um, separate uh, light boards for the front lights. That's excellent. There you can see the uh, DPR door. You can see the kind of wire, the uh, wires kind of, uh, well, coiled around here in the nose. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, the, the wheels and the wheel mold looks really nice. The tires are reasonably sticky on my Apollo car track. Um, so that's pretty much the tour of the inside of the car. Let's get this thing on the Magnet Marshall and see uh, what it looks like there. And let's get on the track and do some laps, shall we? Okie dokie, tail of the tape with the Magnet Marshall. What does she weigh? 86 grams, pretty light, I like it. Everybody likes a nice light car. And 91, 92, slide it back and forth a little bit. Yeah, about 92 grams of downforce. Let's see if that's centered. Yep, that's about it. So uh, fairly light magnet car, and you can feel this when you're driving it around. It does not feel incredibly stuck down. Frankly, it feels really nice even with the magnet. Yes, folks, you heard it here first. I had something good to say about magnets. Uh, it's a it's a nice car. It's pretty quiet. Uh, it's really smooth. You can hang the tail out like you saw in some of the videos, even with the, um, the magnets still in it. Uh, the decoration on this is a uh, water slide, or it's, I should say a decal. It is not a uh, tampo printing. A lot of Skeletra cars recently are uh transfers are i don't know if it's technically a water slide decal or or how they do it but um it is not tampo printing you can see some seams here and there but i mean that i'm not saying this critically uh or to be critical of it i think it's a beautiful way of doing decorations on cars i think they need to keep doing this i think it's great especially if they can make really really beautifully detailed cars like this one is uh so that's pretty much it should you buy the Mustang? I think you should. If you're a Mustang fan, I mean, you got to buy the Mustang. Uh, it's the only modern one out now. And, you know, I think it's a great car to buy. And uh, on sale now at your Skelectric dealer.